What is internet freedom? It depends on who is speaking. First of all, if you're dealing with the NGOs based in Washington DC, internet freedom basically means fr freedom from federal government. And that is where most of the money and lobbying energy is currently being uh, focused. That's putting it very simplistically, but effectively that's what it's about. And that whole internet freedom um, narrative has been pretty much dominated by pro-US service providers. Inevitably, service providers want freedom from federal interference. Very simple. But if you come down to Europe, continental Europe, freedom means freedom for. And freedom for means freedom to be able to do certain things and to be able to do certain things if you're disadvantaged or, you know, this is the theory, then you need some sort of regulatory framework in order to enable it. So that's freedom for. But in Europe, they, they tread a tricky line between, of course, the market-based ideas of freedom and the regulatory-based um, citizen public service ideals. When you come to the UK, it means a free press. So, internet freedom is not really talked about because media here is very much dominated by traditional understandings. Mm, so we have at least three, if not four, um, contesting and competing discourses or narratives about what internet freedom is. And the elephant in the room is not just what do we mean by freedom and what our cultural understanding of freedom is and how we understand our governments and our, and our industries, our relationship to that, but also what is the internet these days. Um, in effect, for most kids, under 20, media and internet are synonymous with each other. They get their television online. So internet freedom itself is a huge black container term, I think. Hence, why it's so powerful as a phrase. It means everything to everyone at all times in many ways. Excellent. What is the big, biggest threat to internet freedom? Well, assuming we understand we yeah. mean the same thing. The biggest threat is to, um, to assume that everyone agrees on what we're talking about. The second biggest threat is to assume that we all understand what freedom is, freedom for or freedom from, but that's incredibly important. Um, if you're from the global south, it could be freedom from a hugely oppressive state apparatus, but at the same time it also could mean um, endeavouring to have state laws or, or local laws that actually allow our communities to have access to simple things such as um, um, uh, television or radio. So I think the first thing we have to realise is that um, there's a huge battle at the moment, not for the control of the internet, that's happening. It's a huge battle for control of the narrative. And our narratives frame our world. So freedom is a very tricky word, and as the great late Janis Joplin used to say or sing, freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose.